Yes! I knew leaving my Christmas tree up would trick Santa into thinking Christmas is early this year. What up all you fishy fish ninjas? What we got right here is an update or a product spotlight or a unboxing. Bottom line is whatever you call this, beauty is getting a makeover. It's about to be more beautiful because that's how I get down. All right, like I told you on the first of the month, we got product spotlights coming at you all month long and that's because the sump is getting a makeover we're gonna make this into a super sump the sump i should have started off with from day one instead of this little baby sump that i started off with and was just never happy with now the reason i went with wind rider creations well there's more than one reason all right first and foremost is this company has been around longer than I have been alive. All right, Mr. Steve himself has been making tanks and sumps and overflows and bird cage, all these crazy, fun, amazing things with acrylic and glass and everything like that for many years. This is something he is very good at and loves doing. And it's, he was just a great guy to talk to when I was making this tank. Now I've learned a lot talking to this individual and just some other um some other facts i picked up along the way just being in the hobby and doing my research now the main reason well the main reasons i went with this sump are as followed first in comparison to the sump i originally had this windrider sump is actually half the price of my other one and it's twice the size I mean, just simply do the math on this, guys. You cannot lose. Just in that fact alone is just like win. Yes, thumbs up if you like saving money. I should have went with this in the first place. It would have saved me a grip. Now I have a sump that I have no use for. Yay. All right. On top of that, the customization of Wind Rider sumps is incredible. All right, the reason I said I was talking to Mr. Steve so much was because of this. We were going over all the details of this sump. I sent him the measurements of the skimmer, the measurements of the, of the return pump, the measurements of the substrate, how high it was going to be, how many, like the filter sock. Everything on this was fully customizable, and I took advantage of that. All right, for the price and being able to customize it on top of that is just insane. And lastly, I decided to go with this and the icing on the cake was that the tank is just so clean looking. You'll see when this unboxing is finished that the, the whole sump is very sleek, very modern, very clean, and very, very sexy. I'm all for that. Because beauty is beautiful, so the inside, the more of beauty needs to be even more beautiful. And that's what we're doing with the Wind Rider Creation Sump right now, guys. When talking to Steve, he, he put a lot of reassurance to me about ordering a sump online. Now, I'm very worried about ordering a tank or something of glass, acrylic, anything that can break of this nature through the mail. Alright, I'm nervous. But Mr. Steve reassured me that in the many years that he's been doing this, that he's never had a tank break. All right, so I took the plunge. I was like, let's do it. The price, the customization, the look of this tank, the, the talk, being able to talk to the owner himself and getting that reassurance is just amazing. All right, this was packaged amazingly. I mean, I, I don't know what else to say. He, he used... These little pads, like, um, they, they remind me of, like, a cooler or something. I don't know. It was just really firm. Yeah, it had a little good. It's, like, high-quality uh, styrofoam for the ends. He Then he wrapped it in, like, a million layers of bubble wrap. And that I love. Okay? I'm lucky I don't have kids because then I would have to share the bubble wrap. And I want to play with the bubble wrap myself. That's 
the best part about bubble wrap. Okay? On top of that, he even stuffed the edges with uh, paper just to give it a little bit more protection and fill the box out even better. The th I'm just happy, guys. I, I After seeing this, I would have no problem ordering another sump or overflow box or anything from Windrider ever. I would never even think twice about it. Now, also, the panels on the glass have this um, kind of stickerish material on top of it. Which is obviously to protect it from getting scratched and such while being transported. So that made me happy also. So guys, now that we know why I went with Windrider, how they ship their products, let's talk about what I wanted when customizing my sump. The first thing I let be known was that I wanted a filter sump. Unfortunately, I did not specify how big of a hose I had going into my sump. So I had to drill it myself. I'm sure that if I would have told Mr. Steve himself, he would have drilled it for me. So I can't hold that against him. I'm very happy with this product. And as you guys can see, it's not a hard thing to fix. All you got to do is get a circular drill bit or whatever it's called. And then put a little bit of lining inside the sump so you don't have to worry about the mess. And then just go straight into it. The hole comes out fairly easily. I didn't have to worry about doing anything extra because it wasn't too thick that it, I had to worry about it overheating. And I'm very happy with how everything came out. That was not the only thing I did myself. Now, when I talked to Mr. Steve, he told me that if I wanted a black panel in the back, he could do it. Because I told him that it's something that I think would make this look very sharp. Now, I opted out of that for the simple reason is I wanted to see what it was like without it before I decided to get it. Okay? Now, after seeing it without it, it's not bad, but I just think the black background is going to be oh so sexy. It's going to take everything to the next level, and I could not not do it. So, guys, after getting this sticker off, it was time to get my arts and crafts on. Painter status. I'm not going to get into too much detail about how I painted the tank. If you guys want to see that, check out the annotation on the screen right now. But bottom line is, I got my Picasso on. Boom! Guys, this is exactly what I wanted. Mr. Steve is the man. I could not have been happier with how this turned out. He did the one filter stock, uh, three chambers, just like I asked. Everything is spread out to the measurements I gave him. My equipment fits perfectly in this amazingness right here. The last thing I have to do, though, is cut a sheet of padding. All right, I just feel more comfortable knowing that the acrylic is not sitting directly on the ground. Give it a little cushion just in case it's a little unleveled. I just want to be safe, guys. And plus, I had this, and it was an excuse to use it. Now that the sump is in place, I want to take this moment to say thank you to you, Mr. Steve with Win Rider Creation. You are amazing. It was a blast talking to you on the phone. Uh, thank you for being so good at this and for taking the time to actually listen to my needs and to make a sump that was just perfect for me. And I, I would feel comfortable ordering from you any day. The amount of customer service was, um, again, amazing. I would call you at any time and you would just answer the phone and you're right there with me. So again, thank you, sir. Leave a comment below. Let me know how much you paid for your sump. Or if you want to get a Wind Rider Creation sump yourself, I would like to know who's going to get one. All right, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. I got videos coming at you four times a week. Talking about every Sunday, you're going to get something random. Every Wednesday, you're going to get an update on either Beauty or Beast. Every Friday is going to be my featured hobbies of the month, Rusty. And every Saturday, we got a product spotlight because, I mean, I just got too many stuff recently and just too many things to talk about. Also, don't forget to check out my fish tank hooligans. I'm talking about Danny Alano and Fishy Drizzy. And don't forget to do amazing things like parachute into a field of cacti and start poking the cacti. Till next time, guys, tank like a boss because you're a boss. And that's how bosses tank.